Di from Bags for Bubbles, and I was tagged by Pink to Paris Brooke to do this secret diary of a YouTuber tag, and I thought this one looked like a really fun tag because it's all about YouTube, how to get started, why you're here, and all that sort of thing. So this should be a the fun. The first question is, how long have you been on YouTube? So this is my original channel on YouTube, and I did not originally start this one to start uploading videos. This channel has been in existence since about 2009, but I don't think that I actually started more frequently uploading videos until the end of 2011, beginning of 2012. Prior to that, I'd uploaded a couple videos just kind of randomly without realizing that like people that just hung out on YouTube would be watching them. I, you know, put them on here for other reasons outside of YouTube. But then once I realized that YouTube had its own communities, I kind of hung around a little bit more and started uploading more frequently. And I believe that was around the beginning of 2012, roundabouts. So what is that? Almost three years that I've had uploads more frequently on this channel. Number two, at what point do you think you will stop? So I'm in a couple different communities at this point. I'm in the handbag community. I'm in the mommy kind of lifestyle community. And then I also just started a third channel, which has to do with home decor and organization and just kind of things around the house and that sort of thing. And I would say, you know, I could kind of see myself doing this indefinitely. It's something that I really enjoy and I get a lot of just kind of warm fuzzies from interacting with you guys. I really enjoy talking back and forth in the comments and hanging out on Facebook and that sort of thing. So it's something that I really enjoy. I think that if it ever became something super negative where... You know how you just see like on gossip sites and stuff like that, people can just totally turn it into a negative thing. I think that if ever turned into drama, then that would be kind of the point where I'd have to consider whether or not it was for me. Number three, what is the best thing about YouTubing? And I would say the best thing has to be this like unlimited interaction that you get to have with people that have similar interests or in similar situations to you. I love that. So I love that I started a channel about handbags and I can hang, hang out with other handbag crazies or whatever we want to call ourselves. Other people that kind of get that. And I love that I started a mommy channel and now I am connected with all kinds of stay-at-home moms, other mommy YouTubers. It's great to kind of find that community and be able to hang out with people in your own community. The worst thing about YouTube, number four, would be the sometimes drama that people just start. And it's not even usually subscribers. It's like usually just like what I call the hit and run people. They just like drop in to cause some drama and then like head on out. Um, I'd say that's probably the worst thing. But luckily it seems like for the most part, at least on the kind of small scale that I'm at, people kind of still stay in their own communities if that makes sense. Usually if someone's coming in to start drama, they're not even really someone that's in the Heyman community and you know typically watches those videos or someone that's in the mommy community or typically watches those videos. It's usually like some random person that like just... I don't know, randomly find your video and like drops in to create some drama. Um, so that'd probably be the worst thing. But it, I mean, all in all, you, you have a lot of control with YouTube over your own channels and the content that you show and, and censoring and all that sort of thing. So, you know, all in all, it's not too bad. Number five is how many thumbnail options do you usually take? Oh, I guess like when I make my own thumbnails, <laughs> like one or two, I really, I've gotten out of the habit of making thumbnails. In fact, the thumbnail for this video is probably going to be like uh, some crazy thumbnail that YouTube's giving me. That would be great if like YouTube still shot at that one. But anyways, um, I usually only take one or two and then I just pick from those. And sometimes I also just screenshot out of the middle of the video if I'm kind of time strapped, uh, but usually just one or two and I can get you know, what I need from that. Um, number six, your YouTube crush. To be honest, I watch like 100% females. So, NA, not available, not applicable. <laughs> um, number seven, who's on your collab wish list? So, I actually, I have a big collab wish list. I would love to, this is more kind of geared towards the mommy stuff, um, but I would love to do something in person with Brooke, because we live kind of near each other. So, Pink to Paris, we need to meet up for a hangout and, like, bring our cameras with us or something. Um, I'd love to do something, like, in person with her, because we kind of live nearish to each other. 
And then in the mommy community, I would love to collab with more extensively. I've done collabs with like Nicole um, from Mommy Tips by Cole and Courtney from Kyle and Court Hale and Go Team Hale. Um, and so I'd love to do like more, maybe do like one on one because those were like big group ones that we were in. I'd love to do maybe like smaller collabs with those guys. And of course, all my mommy YouTube mommy meetup friends, Dana and Amy, we're getting ready to do some fun hangout things. So. Hanging out with y'all. <laughs> now, obviously, YouTube Mommy Meetup has been great to like meet other mommy channels and hang out. Number eight is, what are you wearing on your bottom half? This is like the big YouTube secret that everyone does. Everyone. It doesn't matter who they are. Everyone is presentable from the waist up. We're all dolled out, our hair's done, our makeup's on. Uh, we are wearing real clothes on top, and we are all wearing pajamas or yoga pants on bottom. I guarantee you, we are all wearing it. So right now, I'm just wearing some little black like shorts. They're just like little workout shorts. I'm not. I'm gonna spare you the details. I'm actually happy to see them, but they're basically like yoga shorts, if you will. Um, so most of the time, I am in like yoga pants on the bottom. I don't really typically wear my pajamas other than when I'm actually asleep, um, but I'm pretty much in yoga pants on the bottom. Um, number nine, how long until you actually click record? So I'm a like straight out the gate type of person. I do a lot of editing on the back end, but if you go back and watch my oldest of old videos on this channel, I used to do one take videos, which is insane, insane for me now to think about. One take, no editing. I'd just sit down and yammer, which I'm great at, by the way. I would just sit down and yammer, and that would be it. Like, no editing as many times as I said, um, they were in there. And so I think that, honestly, in the early days may be a better YouTuber now because I do quite a bit of editing now, especially on my Be Mommy with Style channel, just to edit out pauses and things like that. Um, see, there's an um, I'm not going to edit that out. But I think that those early days kind of help me just really just go for it. And I don't really have to collect my thoughts beforehand. I might have like a list of notes or like right now I have a, my laptop in front of me with the list of questions. But other than that, I just go. So I don't know if everyone does that. I'll have to start watching these videos now. But I pretty much just hit record and start going. And let's see, number 10, how do you feel about the YouTube community culture? So I think that there's a really great community sense on YouTube, and I did not realize this existed when I first started uploading videos, just randomly. And the more I've been around, the more I've been involved, the more communities that I've joined, I realize it's actually a really neat aspect of YouTube. There's literally a community on YouTube for pretty much anything that you would want to do. There's obviously the gamers and the beauty community, which I think are two of the more well-known communities, but the handy community, I think, has gotten really strong. I feel like when I first started, I didn't really see anyone doing handbag videos, and then it kind of grew up a little bit, so that's really nice. And then um, over in the mommy sector, I mean, that community, I think, is also really growing as well. So it is really neat to see, like, this community kind of culture to where you see, like, some of the same names in the comments and things like that. I have been a lot more mommy-focused the past year or so, um, but I still really enjoy, like, my handbag community. And I honestly, that needs to be, like, a goal for, like, 2015 is to kind of get more even balance between my communities. But anyhow, I think there is a really neat community culture on YouTube, which some people probably don't even know exists, I guess, if you're not around here that much, but it is pretty neat. Number 11, what's your secret to a successful channel? You know, on this channel, I haven't really done a lot the past year. You know, it's just kind of been not really um, going backwards, but it's just kind of been hanging out. And I'm, oh, I'm okay with that right now. Um, for as far as the effort that I'm putting in, I've really kind of been more focused on my mommy channel and I've really kind of been sorting out for my own personal self. This has just kind of been a year of growth and reflection for me overall. I'm not running out and buying handbags every other day and that sort of thing. So I kind of really hit a point mid-year, like what do I even talk about over here? Because I really am kind of still sorting out what I'm going to do with my own handbag collection. But now I feel like I'm kind of getting back on pace and as my kids get back to school, I'm going to have more time to film. So I'm kind of 
starting to get an idea of where I'm at in my own personal handbag collection and my own um, kind of goals and desires as far as that goes. And I think that kind of helps in turn with the YouTube. This has nothing to do with the question, does it? What's your secret to a successful channel? So long story short, be yourself and just stay true to yourself and be passionate. If you're passionate about what you're talking about and what you're doing, it'll come across in your videos. It honestly really will. Um, that and tag and title your video as well. Those would be my two suggestions. Oh, number 12, who do you, oh, who do you take? I thought this was a question about tags, and I was like, oh, that'd be ironic, because I just said, use your tags well. Who do I tag? So, again, I'm not exactly sure who all has already done this, but since this is just a secret diary of a YouTube tag, I'm going to take some of my mommy friends as well down below, and anyone else that wants to do this as well. So, Mina, housewife of SC, I know you've been gone for a little while. If you have not done this one before, do this one, please. And then also Dane and Amy from YouTube Mommy Meetup. I take both of you guys to do this one. And then also I will go ahead and take Happily a Housewife Samantha over from the Mommy community as well. And Crystal brought to you by Mom. Um, I will give you a tag and a shout out as well. So I'll link all those lovely ladies down below. The last four are more Mommy lifestyle um channels uh happily housewife love shoes <laughs> so we we have big plans eventually one day we're gonna go shoe shopping um but anyhow those are who i tag for the secret diary of the youtuber tag hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and i will be back with some handbag reviews very soon because i finally have a wish list for fall hooray so thanks so much for watching today and have a great day